When I was a little kid, my dad had a Lotus Salon, and over the years, I had owned a bunch of British cars. So I'd owned multiple Land Rover Defenders, I'd had an Aston, I'd had other British cars. I'd always liked the Jaguar XJ, and I'd always liked this, which is the last of the steel XJ models, the steel body cars. Um, so these cars are sort of, they're timeless and they're beautiful, but they're also sort of gangsterish and sort of mysterious. I'd always sort of been looking at XJs, and it's one of these things where you poke around on the internet. And I ran across this car, it was for sale for $1,200, it was local, it was silver, and it was advertised as a no-rust car, and it was a legit rust-free car. So I said, well, just for the body shell and, you know, some basic parts, it's worth 1200 bucks. So I really wanted this to be sort of the defining XJ. And so I wanted the gated shifter, I wanted the big motor, I wanted it to sound right. We spent a bunch of time on the exhaust uh, getting sound the way we wanted. You know, I didn't want it to sound like a Chevelle at red light, but I also didn't want it to sound uh, like a Le Mans engine in a sedan. So I think we got the right trade-off of sort of angry growl on throttle, but still drivable around town without looking like an idiot. I've always had a love for cars with big engines, rear-wheel drive, manual transmissions, and I thought, why not take all those things, put them into one project car, and this seemed like the car with which to do it. So as soon as I found the right engine, as soon as I decided I want you know, this T56 Magnum with a gated shifter, I want this certain experience, that's really what kept me going on the project, was just working toward that vision. I absolutely love just feeling what the car is doing, whether it's using manual transmission, whether it's using the three pedals, whether it's having really good steering feel. This is the most fun car I own, and that is saying something. Um, and I would say it's one of the three most fun cars I have owned, and that includes 30 cars, including a bunch of interesting sports cars. This is just such an interesting mixture of late 90s luxury and modern day sports car level performance. I'm Carl Muth and this is my love letter to my 1999 Jaguar XJ.